tipped off that a man had been killed in your club. Brilliant. My phone? The tip was correct. Please call the investigators. Yeah, they should bring more body bags. We'll be needing many. Many more. Scare my clients. They can come through the back door. Are there cameras here? The cameras are in the public area. There's no signal here. Help her, please. Uh-uh. Please step back. I wouldn't touch him if I were you. You know withholding evidence is still an offense, right? Well, if it's an offense, wouldn't it be better to wait for your team altogether in my office? Am I right? If something goes wrong, you'll put all the blame on us. It doesn't make sense. The guard was already dead and posed no threat. Yet the attacker didn't leave just yet. He stayed put to hang the body. I guess he drank too much. Maybe went all Rambo. No, a drunk man wouldn't tackle him like that. It's far too complicated and it wouldn't make sense. It's a message. For someone right here. Because apparently, the killer knew that there's only one man who would get the complete report. Are you serious? Just because I own this club, you think I'm a bad guy too, is that right? No. Just the type that leaves corpses behind. Are you telling me I should call my lawyer? No, not yet. But you have a right to do so. It's all starting to make sense.
Where's the other one? Which one? So, what's going on here? The bastard was wasted, boss. And? He punched the waiter right on the nose. Uh-huh. Tries to hit Alex with a bottle. Okay, and then? So they hauled him here to cool off. To cool off? Fuck. It was a setup. It seems pretty clear that the guy had a plan. But the second victim was an accident. Probably why he hid the body. He was worried that you might not decipher his message. I do not know him. Let's follow the breadcrumb trail then. Someone was walking towards him. This someone was clearly part of my staff. My guys wouldn't let him go without a fight. Uh-huh. Hey, you! Wait! Knife. Hey, what do you think you're doing? this mess here, huh? Pretty classic distraction. Your guest spilled a bottle of water, and while the guard was busy cleaning up, he snuck right behind his back. You think it was a guard? It could have been any of the staff. Look carefully at the floor. Do you see how thoroughly it's been cleaned? Even the walls and corners are dry. I highly doubt that your cleaner is usually so diligent. Someone was watching him. Who would intimidate him other than a security guard? Clean this up. Mr. Suhanov, maybe you should consider getting a better guard.
Ready for more? I can't wait to find out what other tricks this mysterious guest has. Wait, you idiot. Can you tell it's not ready yet? sure you don't get cancer. We didn't see anyone. <laughs> we saw Sergei from security about an hour ago, that's all. Mm -hmm. More like half an hour, I think. Did he say anything? Thankfully not, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. No one walked by the two of you, right? Today is Tuesday. It's a very quiet day. There's only a few of us working. Who would walk by? Hey! Move it! Stop. What? Hi there. What's going on here? The stupid fucker destroyed the kitchen! It wasn't me! Asshole! I spent half an hour okay. looking for him! We should look for another corpse.
Someone was standing here. Did he hide under this table? Yeah. Let's find the body. I don't know. Do you know anything, asshole? You're useless. You don't see shit. It looks like he wasn't planning to go through the kitchen. Can you tell me where is your freezer? He didn't want to raise suspicion from what I see. So he wiped off the blood. Yeah, Sergei's there. And also, Yana. Who is Maxim? The one you found in the storeroom. Hmm. We should probably head back. There's only one way out of here. Through the warehouse. there's a young man standing next to your daughter. Who is he? As you can see, my daughter is young and beautiful. There's always a bunch of guys that want to hang out with her. I need you to go and check the stash while I distract her. Do you keep newspaper clippings about all of her suitors?
Check. has been in charge of the club. She's been the manager here for several months. Are gonna need her phone number? There's no use. She's not answering anyway. Don't worry, we'll ask her about this newspaper clippings. When she calls back. Mr. Suhanov. I believe that the time has come for you to contact your lawyer. Hey, boss. Where's the gun? Get down! Away from the window! He's close by. Close all the blinds. Lock the door. He's not gonna fire. He's buying time. Come to the window and find out for yourself. There's a reason he led us to this office. He needs me to open the safe right here. That's when he will attack. And what's inside? Stand by the door. And you'll fall back there. We'll use live bait. <sighs> you said you didn't know who he was. I did. And I hoped it were true. He did a good job in Thailand, faking his own death. So you believe he killed all these people? Just for the cash? No, not just for the money. Also because of this. See you have a burn. Yesterday I went to My daughter has a burn across her back. It's all this damn junkie's fault, trust me. I gave the stupid bastard a job. But the fucker got high on some shitty stuff. Spilled hot oil. On my daughter. Right on her back in this place right here. 
So you figured out long ago it was him? That's right. I just didn't want to be involved with this case in any way. What's this? This is what makes people kill each other. There's more you'll see. Who are you to him? Sister. Make sure you give him my regards! <laughs> an old man's heart to witness. The souls of a family being reunited. Let's drink to them. <laughs> <laughs> 